Life really doesn't happen in black and white, and Amy Wolf's mission is to show you exactly why color matters in your surroundings. A color consultant works with clients, homeowners and small businesses, to, or large businesses, to create effective color plans for uh, homes, office environments, uh, retail establishments. So we take a look at uh, the aesthetics, but also uh, my work is very grounded in function. She believes that finding the right color is an innate need that can boost your spirits when done right or bring you down when it's wrong. We all need color. It's universal, whether it's the perfect shade of white or even the right beige or, you know, the great orange-green purple combo. Wherever you are on the spectrum, everybody needs color and paint. High contrast environments create eye strain, for instance. You know, bright white walls and dark furniture. It's exhausting. You know, so it's difficult to extract the psychological from the physiological in a way, but, I, you know, they're, they're tied together. So. One of her most important duties is to find colors that benefit people who live and work in a particular space. Finding the right one can soothe people in a waiting room or energize someone who has to be on their feet all day. It's important that the person working in that environment have a color that they like, that they're happy with. It can't be too bright because it's exhausting to be in a space that has a really bright color, it's too energetic, and yet at the same time you don't want a color that's so restful that you're finding it brings you down. These are Benjamin Moore. Her process involves a lot of listening, prompting, and collaborating so that her clients can figure out what they really want. Yeah, a big part of this, as I said before, with the process of elimination is uh, the reaction. I'll just hold up a color and I will sometimes have to force my clients to react, you know, to say it. <laughs> Whatever it is, whether it's good or bad, you know, sometimes they're afraid of complaining or saying, I don't like that. But that's so important. That's a big part of the process. Amy feels passionate about color, but at the end of the day, she enjoys the personal interaction the most. For me, personally, it's very satisfying to be in someone's home. Uh, I get to know them. Um, they, you know, they welcome me into their spaces, and it's very satisfying on a human level, which is something I don't get quite as much of through the emails. So for me, the real heart of it is, is being physically present with somebody. That's what I enjoy the most. For GazetteNet, this is Danielle Kahn.